Thank you, Mr. Speaker, or Acting Speaker. Something is rotten in ministerial offices when they undermine the right to information, the RTI process, by deliberately removing public records, deleting emails to avoid their discovery, as well as telling untruths when they lose documents and then cover up. Neil Dawley, as a former insider working for the state government, has blown the whistle about the practice of the deliberate deletion of emails by ministerial staff that they don't want discovered under RTI. We are also aware of RTI officers deliberately withholding information on the basis that people will most likely uh, get that information later if they go to an external review, but effectively frustrating the applicant with delays and denials by not releasing it without that external review process. And we've heard from the Information Commissioner's annual report and the inquiry that's resulted in this report, there's been an increase in the re request for external reviews for a number of reasons. But one of the reasons, I'm sure, is also to do with this process of documents which are available, which should be discoverable, being withheld unless somebody pursues it under an external review. And I want to tell you what happened with my experience. Point of order, a Chair. Uh, pause the clock. Uh, pause the clock. Resume your seat, Member from Ruchido. Uh, what is your you, point Chair, of order? I'm just curious about relevance to the report. Perhaps the member could explain how it's relevant to the actual report that's, that we're discussing. Thanks, Member for Cooper. I'll just get some advice. Page three, annual report. Just uh, resume your seat, Member from Ruchido. I'm just getting some advice. I'm actually reading from it. <laughs> Uh, member from Marichi Dor, um, as I'll just ask you to uh, ensure that your comments uh, relate back to uh, Absolutely, uh, the Mr Chair. And for the benefit of the member who, uh, who tried to delay me in coming forward with this truth that needs to be on the public record, I read from page three, external review service. I refer to other members who have noted that there's been more people going to external review, which is the appeal process when they are denied access to information under right to information. So that is incredibly relevant. Now, I would say that the members should be a little embarrassed by what this government has been doing. And I need to give an example or another example of an external review that I had to go to, which will be one of those reasons we have seen an increase in people saying the information exists, but they are denying it. Ministerial officers are denying that it exists. I wrote to the uh, Transport Minister, who has a reputation with emails for the wrong reason. I wrote to the uh, Transport Minister requesting a briefing on Sunshine Coast future transport plans on the, third, uh, on the 9th of the 3rd, uh, 2020. And after uh, nearly 10 months, I hadn't heard back. I went public about the fact that he had not responded. And I didn't take kindly to the fact that he, his staff were telling the media they'd never received this, this letter. Uh, and it didn't, essentially that it didn't exist, even though I had, an, I had a receipt to say the letter had been received by his office. I don't like people just not fessing up if they've lost something and then telling the media that they've never received it. So I put in a right to information request in because I care about the future of Sunshine Coast public transport plans. And uh, I didn't get a copy of my letter, which I knew existed, because I had a receipt to say that the Minister's office had received this email. But it was interesting. I did get back in the RTI, quote, a, uh, a note from one of the staff. I think update to say department advisers the letter was not received, otherwise looks like we lost it and can't locate." End quote. So, so that's extraordinary. Why don't you just admit you've lost something? But it shouldn't have been lost in the IT systems of a ministerial office, unless there's a practice where they're pretty good at deleting emails. But this is where it's interesting. I then went to an external review process because, once again, I knew my original letter existed. My original letter existed. And uh, they couldn't find it for the ministerial office, so I advised the external review process through the uh, Office of Information Commission. Look, we know that it exists, so I could identify the document that exists, and therefore they were able to find it. Now, I use this as an example where the cover up is far worse than the initial mistake. Mistake or was it deliberate? But there is a practice under this government where there are too many emails that are deleted, 
too many mistakes where they then pervert the RTI process and force people to go to external review to try and get the information. Now, you're at a great disadvantage if you don't know the documents exist. And there are many documents people have a right to information but are being denied to them unless they know they exist. This process has been perverted. There are many good public servants, but the way that some of the ministerial officers are operating under their ministers to deliberately withhold and then not tell the truth if they might have lost something, but we know there are examples where they've had the information and they've deliberately withheld it. And in far more serious matters than the letter that I've raised, the system was broken. This government has no integrity. The member's time has better. expired. Mr. Deputy Speaker.